The poor city is seeing a push in a new industry focused on beer. Yeah, Carolina in the Morning's Caitlin Stansel now joining us live from downtown on what local craft brewers say is a prosperous future for beer and beer lovers in Wilmington. Good morning, Caitlin. Good morning, Bob and Kim. A brewery boom is happening here on the streets of the Port City with a number of businesses opening their doors in just the past year and more expected in the months to come. But these brewing businesses are all about science and getting the right ingredients for the perfect pour. It's a great time to be a craft beer lover. Business is booming with craft beer pouring through the Port City, much like the Cape Fear River. Get that kind of twinkle in your eye and you hope that you can turn your hobby. hobby into a career. Local brewers say they're living the dream, helping build what has become an industry in Wilmington. You know, people really enjoy a lot more flavor these days. They're not drinking just, you know, watered down beer at the beach anymore. There's a wide range of flavors now in beer. From the simple to the unique. This is uh, Benford's Oyster Stout out of uh, Lancaster, South Carolina. For the general population um, that aren't quite familiar with the craft beer, they might think this is a little uh, off the wall of brewing a beer with oysters. <laughs> Brewers are working on that perfect pour that'll turn consumers in Wilmington away from the Budweiser's of the world to something a little more homegrown. But as far as small businesses, you can't get any smaller than having a brewer and his wife spending 80 hours a week putting their hard-earned dollars and their efforts into creating a product that their customers who are local living down the block can appreciate. That's about as local as you can get. You're talking about making the, the best beer you can. Not just making beer to sell it, but making beer that you like and that you enjoy. But building these brews? Extracting the sugars out of grain and then fermenting that sugar water into alcohol. That's the simplistic way hasn't come without its challenges. City leaders had to look at policies and change them to help brewers like Barry Owings at Broomtel open their doors. We played our small part in that, but we're glad to support that type of industry and that small business owner that is doing that kind of business here in our community. Brewers have also had to educate consumers about how to drink their products. Some of the ones I've shown you are, you know, 8, 9, 10 plus ABV, and no, you don't want to drink a six-pack of those. Um, if you do, it's going to be, it's going to be an interesting evening uh, for yourself. Cheers! And teach their taste buds to appreciate the craft. It's definitely an acquired taste. When people taste it, in many cases, they're going to like it, even if it overpowers their palate the first time they taste it. But the work they put in is paid off, with breweries not just popping up here in Wilmington, but across New Hanover County and other parts of southeastern North Carolina. And really, it's the entire Tar Heel State that's cashing in on the craft beer scene right now. Beer bloggers writing about North Carolina as one of the up and coming locations for craft beer lovers. And Asheville really taking the title for Beer City USA. But many would argue that Wilmington is well on its way to becoming the new capital for craft beer here in our state. Live in downtown Wilmington this morning, Caitlin Stansel for Carolina in the Morning. All right, As we mentioned last half hour, our area now is seeing a number of new businesses opening their doors with a focus on the beer lover, lover here in southeastern North Carolina. Carolina in the Morning's Caitlin Stansel now live downtown and how local breweries and other entrepreneurs are banking their business on the love of beer. Good morning, Caitlin. Bob, the boom in breweries isn't just happening along the streets of Wilmington, but it's stretching across the Cape Fear Memorial Bridge and into Brunswick County. And other industries are catching on to the trend as well, cashing in on consumers seeking craft beer. We have a specific point that we're looking for when we know that finally the yeast is finished. It's done its job. It's not going to eat anymore. It all starts with science. Extracting the sugars out of grain and then fermenting that sugar water into alcohol. And Barry Owings at Broomtel has the process down. We analyze every drop of water uh, before it's treated. Uh, then we go through multiple processes to take our water from, from the Castlehane aquifer quality to pure H2O. Taking everything out before crafting the brew he'll eventually put on tap. 
<laughs> the craft beer industry in southeastern North Carolina seems to be brewing in the same way as the product it pushes, flowing through the port city and expanding across the Cape Fear River into areas like Brunswick County. There is the potential for 3,000 new craft breweries to come up in the United States. So knowing that there is that kind of growth potential in an industry, why not take a shot at seeing whether or not some of it could be a good fit for Brunswick County? Other industries are catching on as well. Tourism, seeking craft beer consumers. From point A to point B, they learn a little something. By the time they get done, they appreciate beer for what it is. The Port City Brew Bus touring people from brewery to brewery, giving them a taste of what craft beer is all about. Everything that we can do to get the local community to better appreciate good quality beer and to appreciate the hard work that our local craft breweries are putting in. This love for good beer has opened up other businesses as well. I'm representing a total of almost 300 different breweries uh, across the world right now, maybe a little bit more than that. Like bottle shops and home brew shops. Beer from start to finish from ingredients to you can literally, they use the same ingredients in the store in their beer. But the bottom line behind this boom in breweries is about the craft. It's not to say that people who work making mass market lagers aren't passionate about what they do. It's just I feel that just like when you create a really delicious meal at your house, there's so much love and I feel you can taste that. It's the same when you see like these brewers hands in the ingredients and they're there and it's just something about it's a little more personal and I think you can taste it in the beer as well. And brewers say they see a long future ahead of this industry in our area as consumers develop a taste for craft beer. And the mayor of Wilmington says they've also received paperwork from a number of distilleries wanting to open their doors here in the port city as well, but no word yet on when or where. Live in downtown Wilmington this morning, Caitlin Stansel for Caroline in the morning.